I'm gonna create 100 renders in 100 minutes. The rules are, number one, I have one minute to complete each scene. That includes lighting, positioning the camera, and building out everything else, but not rendering. And two, that's the only rule. Furthermore, this video was inspired by Elliot is a cool guy creating 100 designs in 100 minutes video, which he's awesome and super funny, so check him out. Not that he needs my reach. But with that said, let's start with the first render, which was just a displaced icosphere with a sort of crystal shader. A bit of a weak scene, but it's the first one. Number two was some water with evening lighting. And three is just me playing around with volumetrics. Four is a sphere with unfinished studio lights. And five, a bunch of Suzanne monkeys underwater. Man. One minute is really short. I have to be 100% focused or else I'll end up with a black empty scene. Render six and seven, I tried to make a bit more realistic, but failed spectacularly. So with the next one, I'm realizing that I need to focus on making abstract renders if I want to make anything good during this challenge. Because hot take, abstract renders are really easy to do. The following two, I wasn't really that happy with. But then for render 11, I made one of my favorites with this refracting grid thingy. Next, render 12 to 13 were bad to mediocre because for number 13, it's like, I'm not done yet, it's, yeah. Oh, also, by the way, for all of these, I have a slightly modified startup file with my film emulation node group already set up. By the way, you can also pick it up for just $1 on my Gumroad. Link in the description. 14 was a bit better and then was followed by another relatively cool one. I like how they all kind of lean to the side like this. With 16, I already started struggling to find ideas. So I just, I don't know, put a chair, slap in a light and, you know, onto 17. For which I had the great idea to make a forest. and. Do I even need to say that I wasn't able to finish it on time? Next up, I made this out of focus look at the bokeh type shot, but I would say though that for this one, for example, I went a little bit extra to actually get something to render in the final render because it was done in the viewport. So I think it counts. I think it's not cheating. Uh, it wasn't rendering anything because I had to bake. But anyways, here I renders 19 to 21. Then for 22, I tried making a colorful rainbow laser image, but again, wasn't able to pull through with the limited amount of time. Because of that, what I'm slowly realizing is that what I have to do is to really lock in on a simple composition, put in a light as fast as possible and immediately position the camera so that once the timer dings, I at least have something. Then I made another weird crystal thing, an unfinished landscape, as well as a weird symmetrical eye shape. Now, again, I felt my ideas were kind of samey and boring. So next I made an environment with a couple of rocks at sunset. The next one I wanted to be a kind of foggy landscape render, but yeah, that turned out like this. Now, you know how black holes have this glowy ring around them? Because the next one is gonna be an abstract interpretation of that. Looks kinda cool in my opinion. Following that, I made this foggy ocean render, which I feel like for one minute is pretty good. But after that, 33 was another failed volumetric experiment, and 34, 35, and 36 are looking pretty similar to each other. But I like the ideas. Continuing on, there's 37, looking a bit bad. 38 is okay, and 39, which is actually looking good. For render 40, I used the quick explode feature and a bit of motion blur. I have to say, I really like the results. 41 to 45 were pretty eh, but here again with this one, it's so tempting to just go in and spend a bit more time because I like the idea. And if I were able to do what I actually wanted to do, then I think it would be pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, 46 was more motion blur experiments. And 47 is this kind of caged cube type thing. 48 is a complete failure and 49 is this kind of swirly displacement pattern that I made using a noise texture with a noise texture plugged into its coordinates. When I started this I had no idea I was going to do so much abstract stuff because normally this is not at all my style. 50, the halfway point, is a bunch of blobby metal balls and 51 a pretty terrible attempt at I don't even know lava? 52 is a glitchy mess but kind of looks like an asteroid maybe? And 53 is a plane with the Musgrave texture plugged into the bump and top-down lighting, which I feel looks a bit like one of those hammered steel thingies. Then 54 was a pretty good idea, but I wasn't able to get a focal point in there. With 55, I again am very happy. Just a displaced cube that I duplicated and then gave a wireframe modifier. 56, I wanted to be a backlit eight-sided cylinder, but like so often, I couldn't get the lighting finished on time. 57 and 58, I again wasn't able to get as far as I wanted. So in the moment, I was pretty disappointed. So bad. <laughs> but looking back, they're actually pretty cool. 59 was inspired by this image here, but I can't say that I managed to replicate the reference. 60 is imitating long exposure photography. And I'd say it, 
looks pretty good. 61 throughout 64 are just more of weird shape or material with white lighting. But on render 65, it gets interesting again because I really like how the light reflects off of this red glass material. 66, 67, 68 and 69 are pretty boring, but I like the idea of the 69th render. 70 and 71 I'm really happy with. I like 70s refracting diamond look and 71's lighting and material combo that makes it look real clean. I don't think you could tell that this one was only made in one minute. 72 to 74 are a few emission experiments, while 75 is trying to look like lava and failing at it. The next one is another backlit structure, but aside from the artifacts, it's looking pretty good. After that, I modeled the capacitor for some reason, I don't really know, and 78 was an experiment with negative lights, where if you set a light's strength to a negative value, it actually removes light. So that's what these black refractions are. For 79, I tried my hands at another tree, and 80 was another refracting diamond thing that this time I didn't get as far on. It's getting harder and harder to think of new ideas, so the next one is just, what if the landscape was made out of glass? <laughs> it's not good. 82 is just a car, 83 a stack of cubes, and 84 a cube with a sphere particle system on it. 85 is supposed to be a chess piece. And I have to say, modeling anything for any of these is very stressful. Because while modeling, you don't have any lighting yet. So if the timer runs out, you have nothing to show. 86 is a bunch of falling cubes, and 87 was gonna be a few refracting slabs on top of each other. But this is as far as I got with that. 88 is a field of cubes and 89 a corridor of emissive rods. Next, I wanted to experiment with some caustics. So I set up a displaced cube with a glass material and a strong backlight, which resulted in this. Home stretch, only 10 to go. So 91 is a wavy semi-transparent plane that I think if I were to spend more time on, could look pretty cool. And more laser cube things, this time in combination with a few glass paints. And while we're on the topic of glass, render 93, I wanted to make some of the stained variation. And that, uh, didn't work. 94 was, uh, again, semi-transparent, displaced, reflective cube thing, while 95 was what I was thinking about at the time. Uh. Much the same with 96. 97 started to look real cool again with this bedazzled Suzanne monkey. 98 is a surprisingly cool looking smooth thing, and 99 is just kind of a rod. Then finally, Render 100. This one is just a bunch of red glass cubes scattered on another cube. And yeah. With that one done, that's it. This was actually surprisingly hard to do because only having one minute is just like subject, bam, lighting, bam, camera, bleh, timer ran out. But given those circumstances, I'm pretty surprised how actually decent looking some of the renders were. And speaking of, here is the final montage of all of them.